Although we might not have grown up to marry our celebrity crush, that doesn't mean that it doesn't ever happen. From a very young age, we've all had our celebrity crush, one that we love and adore, and are more than happy to hang up their posters all over our childhood bedroom walls. Whether you want to admit it or not, we all have had that glimmer of hope at one point or another that we actually have a chance with our celebrity crushes, no matter how far-fetched the idea may be. Although we might not have grown up to marry our celebrity crush, that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. There are quite a few celebrities over the years who have met a fan that changed their world completely, so much so that they fell in love and actually got married. These lucky fans are able to say that they married their celebrity crush, and we can't help but be a little jealous. 10. Ringo Starr and Maureen Starkey Tigret. Maureen Cox is known as the first wife of the Beatles drummer, Ringo Starr. Before that, however, Maureen, like many others, was a huge fan of the band. When she was 15 years old she would wait in long lines just so she could see her favorite band. She often went to their shows at the Cavern Club, and that's when the two officially met. They started dating not long after, and Maureen faced a lot of backlash from devoted Beatles fans. The two went on to get married and have three children together, two sons and one daughter. Eventually, they called it quits and got a divorce, and Maureen sadly passed away in 1994 of leukemia. 9. Matthew Lewis and Angela Jones. We all know Matthew Lewis for portraying the character Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter franchise. Back in 2016, Matthew was visiting the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios in Orlando for a big event. Little did he know, that event would change his life forever. Angela Jones was an event planner at Universal Studios and a huge fan of the Harry Potter series when the two met, and it was love at first sight. Matthew popped the big question just a few short months later in November 2016 before the two got married in Italy in 2018. The couple is still together and happily in love today. 8. Matt Damon and Luciana Barroso. Back in 2003, Matt Damon was filming Stuck on You in Miami when he decided to go out when he had some free time and get a drink at a bar. That's when he stumbled into the bar that his future wife Luciana Barroso was bartending at. He was being hounded by some fans for pictures when he decided that he would ask Luciana for some help. She let him hide behind the bar to get away and have a drink in peace. Luciana, being a fan herself, decided to put Matt to work and had him helping out behind the bar and even helped her make some drinks. He helped her earn quite a few tips that night, and the rest is history. 7. Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick. The first time that Kevin Bacon met his wife Kira Sedgwick for the first time was when she was just 12 years old, seven years younger than him. He was starring in a play that she had gone to see, and she had run into him after the show, gushing about how much she loved his performance. Fast forward a few years, the two met on the set of Lemon Sky for a second time. Obviously, things were much different now at Kira was much older. The two began to see each other, eventually getting married and staying happily married for decades now. 6. Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey. Back in the early 1990s, Steve Harvey was making a living by doing a few stand-up comedy shows in Memphis, Tennessee. On one particular night, Marjorie decided that she was going to see one of Steve's shows, unfortunately, she wound up being a little late and Steve had already started his set. He stopped the show, as he noticed someone coming in late and just stared at Marjorie, trying to make a joke over the fact that she was late and he already started to perform. He didn't say anything to her at first, only staring, before he said to the crowd, I'm sorry, I don't know who this is, but I'm going to marry her. Little did he know, he'd be right. It wasn't instantaneous, as Steve was married to someone else at the time, but the two eventually found each other and Steve made his statement very much true as they married in 2007. The rest is history. 5. Patrick Dempsey and Gillian Fink. 
Patrick Dempsey and Gillian Fink have one of the most adorable stories of how they met. Gillian is a hairstylist and makeup artist and the two met when Patrick made an appointment at a salon to have a haircut with her. For three years she cut his hair before he finally decided to make a move. After that, their relationship moved rather quickly as they moved in together not long after their first date and got married in 1999. Since then they've become a power couple as Patrick's career took off with Grey's Anatomy, and Jillian has become one of the most popular makeup artists and hairstylists in Hollywood. 4. Jerry Seinfeld and Jessica Seinfeld. If it wasn't for Jessica's chance meeting with comedian and actor Jerry Seinfeld, things would be a lot different these days. Jessica was at the Reebok gym on the Upper West Side of New York City when Jerry approached her and tried to make her laugh while she was filling her water bottle. Being a fan, she couldn't help but laugh and like the attention that the star was giving her. He invited her to a taping of his special for HBO, and she went, only to inform him that she was unhappily married to someone else at the time. They managed to work things out and the two are happily married with children. 3. Conan O'Brien and Liza Powell Conan O'Brien had a true love at first sight moment when he met his wife Liza Powell. While taping an episode of Late Night, Conan met his future wife while she attended the taping of the show. During the taping, they were making a commercial for the worst advertisers for an NBC affiliate, and Liza's company was producing it. Both parties claimed that when they met for the first time, it was truly love at first sight. From then on out the two were inseparable, and their love story is history. 2. Ruben Studdard and Sarada Zuri McCants. We all remember Ruben Studdard for winning the second season of American Idol. At the peak of his fame, Ruben was doing quite a few CD signings when he hosted on at a Walmart in his home state of Alabama. One fan attending the signing was Sarada Zuri McCants, and little did Ruben know at the time, she would become his future wife. Unfortunately, though, they weren't meant to be together forever as they called it quits about three years later when the two filed for divorce. 1. Billy Joe Armstrong and Adrian Nesser. When you're a rock star, people tend to think that there's no way you can settle down with someone. With the lifestyle that they led and all of the people thrown at them on a daily, it's a long-standing cliché and stereotype that they never want to find, the one. For Green Day frontman Billy Joe Armstrong, that's definitely not true. Back on July 4, 1990, Billy Joe met his future wife Adrian Nesser at a Green Day concert in Minneapolis. Of course, she was a fan of the band, and the two hit it off immediately. They married almost four years later on July 2, 1994, and they've been together and happily married ever since.